Shatka mass, the six purificatory processes. Those who are of a flabby and phlegmatic constitution only, should practice at first these six kriyas to prepare themselves for the practice of pranayam and their success comes in easily. These six kriyas are 1. Dhoti, 2. Basti, 3. Neti, 4. Pratka, 5. Nolly and 6. Kapal Bhati. Dhoti. Take a clean piece of muslin cloth 4 fingers wide and 15 feet long. Dip it in tepid water. The borders of the cloth should be nicely stitched on all sides and no pieces of thread should be hanging loose. Then slowly swallow it and draw it out again. Swallow one foot the first day and increase it daily, little by little. This is called Vastra Dhati. In the beginning you may have slight retching. It stops on the third day. This practice cures diseases of the stomach, such as gastritis, gulma, dyspepsia, belching, fever, lumbago, asthma, liha, diseases of spleen, leprosy, skin diseases and disorders of phlegm and bile. You need not practice it daily. You can practice it once a week or once in a fortnight. Wash the cloth with soap and keep it always clean. Drink a cup of milk after the practice is over, otherwise, you will feel a dry sensation inside. Basti This can be practiced with or without a bamboo tube. But it is better to have a bamboo tube. Sit in a tub of water covering your navel. Assume the posture Utkatsana by resting your body on the forepart of your feet, the heels pressing against the posteriors. Take a small bamboo tube six fingers long and insert four fingers of its length into the anus after lubricating the tube with waistline or soap or castor oil. Then contract the anus. Draw the water into the bowel slowly. Shake well the water within the bowels and then expel the water outside. It is known as Jalabasti. It cures pliha, urinary disorders, gulma, nyalga, dropsy, disorders of digestion, diseases of the spleen and bowels, diseases arising from the excess of wind, bile and phlegm. This kriya should be done in the morning when the stomach is empty. Drink a cup of milk or take your meals when the kriya is over. This kriya can be practiced while standing in a river. There is another way of doing basti without the help of water. It is called Sthula Basti. Sit in Paschimottanasana on the ground and churn the abdominal and intestinal portions slowly with a downward motion. Contract the sphincter muscles. This removes constipation and all the abdominal disorders. This is not so effective as the Jalabasti. Neti Take a thin thread 12 fingers long, a half cubit, without knots. Insert it into the nostrils and passing it inside draw it out by the mouth. You can also pass the thread through one nostril and pull it through the other. The thread is glued and thereby rendered stiff for passing through easily. This kriya purifies the skull and produces clear and keen sight. Rhinitis and coriza are cured thereby. Pratka, gazing. Gaze steadily without winking with a concentrated mind at any small object, until tears begin to flow. By this practice all diseases of the eye are removed. Unsteadiness of the mind vanishes. Sambhavinti Siddhi is obtained. Willpower is developed. Clairvoyance is induced. Nolly, this is abdominal churning with the help of rectus muscle of the abdomen. Bend the head down. Isolate the rectus muscle and turn it from right to left and from left to right. This removes constipation, increases the digestive fire and destroys all intestinal disorders. Kapal Bhati Do Rechika and Puraka rapidly like the billows of a blacksmith. This destroys all the disorders of phlegm. Chapter 2 The Meditation Room Have a separate meditation room under lock and key. Never allow anyone to enter the room. Keep it sacred. If you cannot afford to have a special room for contemplative purposes and for practicing pranayam, have a place in the corner of a quiet room, set apart for this purpose. Have it screened. 
Place the photo of your guru or ishta devta in the room in front of your asana. Do puja daily to the picture, physically and mentally, before you start meditation and pranayam. Burn incense in the room or burn agrabati, incense sticks. Keep some sacred books there such as Ramayana, Srimad Bhagavata, Gita, Upanishads, Yoga Vasishtha, etc. for your daily study. Spread a fourfold blanket and over it a piece of soft white cloth. This will serve the purpose of an asana. Or spread an asana of kusha grass, over it spread a deer or tiger skin. Sit on this asana for practicing pranayam and meditation. You can have a raised platform made of cement. Over this you can spread your asana. Small insects, ants, etc. will not molest you. When you sit on the asana keep your head, neck and trunk in a straight line. By doing so, the spinal cord that lies with the spinal column will be quite free. The five essentials. Five things are necessary for practicing pranayam. First a good place, second a suitable time, third moderate, substantial, light and nutritious food, fourth patient and persistent practice with zeal. is an earnestness and lastly the purification of nadis nadi shuddhi when the nadis are purified the aspirant enters the first stage in the practice of yoga arambha a pranayam practitioner has a good appetite good digestion cheerfulness courage strength vigor a high standard of vitality and a handsome appearance the yogi should take his food at a time when surya nadi or pingla is working i.e when the breath flows through the right nostril because pingla is heating and digests the food quickly pranayam should not be practiced just after taking meals nor when one is very hungry gradually one should be able to retain the breath for 3 ghatikas 1 hour and a half at a time through this the yogi gets many psychic powers when anyone wants to stop the breath for a long period he should remain by the side of a yogi guru Who knows? The practice of pranayam thoroughly. The breath can be suspended by graduated practice from one to three minutes without the help of anybody. Suspension for three minutes is quite sufficient for purifying the nadis and steadying the mind, and for the purpose of good health. The place. Select a solitary, beautiful, and pleasant spot where there are no disturbances on the bank of a river. lake or the sea or the top of a hill where there is a nice spring and grove of trees and where milk and articles of food are easily procurable build a small kutir or hut have one compound in the corner of the enclosure sink a well it is impossible to get an ideal place that can satisfy you from all viewpoints the banks of narmada jamuna ganga kaveri godavari Krishna are very suitable for building kutirs or huts. You must select one such spot where there are some other yogi practitioners in the neighborhood. You can consult them in times of difficulties. You will have faith in the yogi kriyas. When you see others also who are devoted to such yogi practices, you will diligently apply yourself in your practice as you will get an impetus and you will strive to excel them. Nasik Rishikesh झांसी प्रयाग उत्तरकाशी वृंदावन अयोध्या वाराणसी एटसेट्रा आर गुड प्लेसेस यू कैन फिक्स अ स्पॉट इन अ प्लेस फार फ्रॉम द क्राउडेड लोकेलिटीज इफ यू बिल्ड अ कुटीर इन अ क्राउडेड प्लेस पीपल आउट ऑफ क्यूरियोसिटी विल मोलेस्ट यू यू विल हैव नो स्पिरिचुअल वाइब्रेशंस देयर यू विल बी विदाउट एनी प्रोटेक्शन इफ यू बिल्ड योर कॉटेज इन अ थिक फॉरेस्ट थीव्स एंड वाइल्ड एनिमल्स विल ट्रबल यू The question of difficulty for food will arise. In Sveta Svatara Upanishad it is said, at a level place, free from pebbles, fire and gravel, pleasant to the eyes and repairing to a cave, protected from the wind, let a person apply his mind to God. Those who practice in their own houses can convert a room into a forest. Any solitary room will serve their purpose well. The time The practice of pranayam should be commenced in vasanta ritu spring or sarad ritu autumn because in these seasons success is attained without any difficulty or troubles The vasanta is a period from march to april The sarad 
autumn, lasts from September to October. In summer do not practice pranayam, in the afternoon or evening.